Yo, 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 my name is Dinachi and today I am doing a couple bass tours of my, let's loud those trains, let's let that train go by, there we go, good stuff, right, I'm doing a couple tours of my metal factory, so in front of you I've got the iron and copper factory, and after this I'm going to do the steel factory, so let's get straight into it. So coming into the factory we have two train platforms, this little part here does a bit of copper ingots just for the aluminium factory which I've covered in another video so I'm not going to do that right now. So let's get straight into the main part which is these two twin towers which I think looks really really cool. So as I mentioned both of these buildings are exactly identical. One side does copper and the other side does iron and you can see we've got a couple of, uh, I think they're pure, I'm not 100% sure, uh, two iron nodes over there and over on this side we've got two copper nodes directly underneath the the factories and the train will come in and it will cut three of the containers will go to the left side and three go to the right side and pick up the goods coming out of the factory so let's get straight into the factory and see what's going on what i really liked about this factory was the different levels of the of the machinery so we've got a level down here right at the bottom and then it kind of goes up in steps then you've got another row here of of uh, what they call constructors and you come up again and you've got another two rows of constructors and then we go up again and then we've got another row of smelters and we go up again and another row of smelters and it's pretty identical on both sides so the copper is very uh, nearly very similar to this and um, I really do like the way this kind of laid out usually though I do like to put most of my conveyor conveyor work underneath the ground and all hidden but it would just mean that I'd lose so much space if I did that on this particular build so all of the conveyor belt here is on show and if we go across to the other side you can see that it's pretty uh, similar in terms of the layout i'll we'll start at the bottom actually so on the bottom here doing quick wire we've got a row of constructors and then we go up a level loads of constructors these are doing copper copper sheets we go up again another two rows of uh, constructors those are doing brass wires and then we've got another row there of smelters and another row of smelters I really do like this layout I think it's very very cool so all the goods kind of make their way down to the bottom level where they eventually come out here and go straight into the train station there we got I think we've got about 300 uh, copper what's it called copper sheets per minute um, but probably a little bit more 400 500 of the cables and probably about four or five hundred as well of the wires maybe a little bit more those actually that's probably a bit more because that's a 780 line so it's probably yeah five six hundred of those and on the other side as you know a lot of stuff needs um i needed loads and loads of screws we've got four lines two 780s of, of uh, wires and another mock four belts again all wires so there's loads and loads of wires and right on the end here we've got the uh, steel plates and the the iron rods good stuff love it alrighty so what I'll do is head on back now to the other one the steel factory and I'll give you a little tour of that and there you can see the train station again picking up half on that side and half on that side Here you can see the other platform underneath with the other train station picking up the other copper ingots and from underneath you can actually get quite a good sense of the scale of the size of the buildings they're quite a lot bigger than they look and here you can see two mark five belts of copper on this side actually no sorry that's not copper that's iron and we've got exactly the same thing of copper on the other side again try to keep everything nice and tidy going up on the legs goes right up into the top alrighty so what I'm gonna do is head on back now catch a train and we can make our way to the coal station which has a variety of goods it does a bit of concrete and a bit of quick wire too uh, this is the wrong platform over there and uh, just jump up here is there a train there oh lovely good all right i want to get on this train and i'll fast forward Alrighty, and here we are underneath the steel factory. So this is a pretty big structure, and I've kind of got it like um, on stilts on all four corners. I guess it's not so realistic, is it? 
I mean, having such a big, large structure um, supported by what is it, three, six, nine, twelve columns, and then two large ones in the middle. I don't know. It's a game. It works. And also these, there's um, kind of define the laws of gravity. These are long conveyor lifts taking all those all that coal up. So I've called this the coal pit. I'm gonna get one over. There you go. You missed. All right. Um, so I've, this has got, um, I've called it the coal pit and you can see the coal pit platform two and underneath you've got the coal pit platform one because here you've got one, two and then you've got three and there's four coal nodes here and I think they're all pure. So there's loads and loads of coal, coal here which is very, very cool. And the good thing is, is that there's a lot of other stuff here. So just over there we can see that um, little ramp there, there's two 580 lines, you've got two pure iron nodes. And all of this coal and iron is making lots and lots of steel. And also coming from, that's it, from over there, we've got sulfur and caterium, I believe. Over this way, uh, you can see just in the distance there, we've got, um, what's it called, concrete, limestone. And uh, I think there's one more thing. Not sure, can't remember. Right, anyway, so you can see here coming down, like raining down from the factory above. We've got loads of stairs. It's quite a busy uh, area, so there's loads of trains coming in all the time. But I do like the way that all the goods kind of fall down from the from the factory above. I thought it was really, really cool. So most of this stuff will go to the platform below. A little bit goes to that platform here. Actually, I think it all goes down to the platform below. Sorry, I did build these two structures quite a while ago. So I can't, oh, the, the train's just uh, picking up now, so they've all stopped. All right, let's, head, let's make our way on up. I said a quick look below, so there's the train below picking up all that stuff. Over this side, we've got a view from the front side, and we can see where the train comes out along that kind of bridge kind of thing over there. One train goes that way. Where am I? Before I fall down. There we go. And that train goes towards the aluminium factory, and this one, that's a different train track that goes towards a uranium deposit and some SAM ore way way down to the south and uh, those two trains go over to there and then I think one will head over to there so that, that's the train system I like those bridges that's pretty cool I like the way that arches over there God, there's so much that green poison crap here though it's everywhere and now we'll make our way up here as we go up we can kind of see all the stuff coming up along with us and stuff going up stuff going down and it's quite a long way up. It's actually a huge structure. God, I forgot how big it is. I do like the way that looks though. Very cool. Very nice. In the middle here we can see all the goods kind of all coming together from all the sides. And they head up in the middle there. And they go up into the factory. And over here I think we can make our way in. That leads back down to the ground level down there that's it and here we've got the factory very cool I've tried to have different factories um, different kind of layouts different designs on each all of my factories so they've all got like a different theme going on so I, I don't want any factory looking the same so if I've done something in one factory I'll try and do something completely different on the next so it keeps it variety and also one thing I've noticed there's a lot of uh, very, very well known YouTubers who've done some absolutely awesome huge mega structures I mean absolutely huge, much much bigger than what I've done. They're so cool to watch, very entertaining. However, one bad side I found about doing that is um, the performance hit. Now this game is not yet properly optimized uh, to what it can be and what it should be and it's what, it's, what they are, I can see in the last uh, development uh, release that they're working on uh, improving the performance and the frame rates. So that's really really cool. But what I've done is try to keep that in mind and by building lots of medium sized structures and that way it kind of helps on performance and spreading them out as well, not having them in the same area. So instead of having huge structures which really do have a huge impact on performance, if you spread them out it kind of does help. So on this factory it's basically just one huge open area. It, on this side we've got I think roughly tw uh, 14 or is this uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, about 18 of these um, doing compacted coal which go to the to the power stations over here again we've got caterium uh, those are doing caterium ingots and these here are all doing the quick wire which we saw 
going down earlier. I tried to keep stuff uh, as organized as possible, going along the walls, try and keep all the, all the messy conveyor work on the side where possible. On here we've got a few doing of the, the concrete, but most of this factory is, is doing the steel, which we'll see. Actually on the middle here, you can see all the goods coming up from below. There's all the juicy ore making on its way up. And I've tried to keep that area all closed because I, that's where there's a lot of messy work, a lot of sorting out. So I've enclosed that area, kind of a shaft area. Very cool, very cool indeed. Alrighty, and most of the stuff is this here. Well, you we can see we've got a, a fair amount of uh, foundries turning the, the coal and iron into steel ingots. And then these are doing a mixture of um, the steel pipes and the, the steel beams. So it's actually really, really simple inside. Nothing too complicated going on here. And we've got a nice little pla uh, window below so we can see some of the goods coming in and the train below coming in and out as well. And all these goods will make their way and head on to a large structure which I've just got out there and you can see ahead of you right there. That's it, that one there. And I've made a video on that as well. So you can check that out if you want to. But yeah, guys, that's it. So um, those are my two metal factories. They're producing all the metal goods that I need for that large structure there, which I've got something quite unusual going on there. So if you want to see a different kind of system, uh, you can check that out if you want. Otherwise, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and maybe I'll catch you again soon.